Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Rocky bringing you guys a video today. In today's video, I just wanted to talk to you guys one-on-one, -on -one, pretty much. No gameplay, nothing like that. I kind of just want to explain everything that's been going on, how I've been feeling, why there's been no streams, and just stuff like that. I First thing I want to talk about is I can't thank you guys enough for the amount of support you guys have been giving me, even with this break and things that have been going on. Um, everyone who DM'd me, uh, texted me, anything like that, and said keep your head up just keep grinding come back when you need to take your time it really does mean a lot and i can't thank you guys enough for that and i love you all and you guys are the best and i wouldn't be where i am today without you guys and let's just keep growing and we'll move on from this point and streams will be back we'll keep grinding again and hopefully everything turns out good but Gonna get into the reason why I haven't been streaming and we're gonna get a little deep into it. So just be ready. So first thing uh, that happened was, is I woke up one day and I wasn't feeling good. Actually the last stream I did, it's unlisted right now, but last stream I woke up and I felt like shit and I was arguing with people all day and I was like, all right, let's just hop on. We'll have a good stream and everything will be good. And start the stream. And usually I really don't care whether or not I start the stream and there's no one in there or there is people in there or anything like that. I really don't care because I know in the end everyone ends up showing up and that's all that matters to me. But start the stream and it's been an hour and a half and there's only been like two people in there and we've been playing Call of Duty and I've been pissed off the whole time we played so I was like fuck this I'm going to end my stream and I'll be back tomorrow so I get off Call of Duty I end my stream and I just relax for the whole night the rest of the night and I get up the next day and I'm like damn I still feel like shit you know what I'll just take another day off and over and over again this happened for a couple of days and then it's like finally ready I was like all right I'm feeling better let's get back into streaming and some I'm not gonna name any names but someone texted me and then it just started a bunch of bullshit and I felt like shit and I was like you know what I was like fuck this I was like I feel like shit fuck this I can't even stream today I'm not doing this bullshit fuck it I'm over it and the person that texted me, yeah, it it hit deep. It hit deep. Not gonna lie, broke Rage heart, broke Rage heart, but it's alright. We'll move past that and we'll grow. There's always chances for that shit in life, but it's alright. And after that, I was like, fuck, and I felt like shit for another week. <laughs> I was like, not, and I was not in the right place not in the right state of mind nothing like that and like even like to begin with like i already i have depression and anxiety and it's it's not anything to fuck around with it's not a joke and it's it's something that people some people say they have but some people don't and i feel like the more people that just say that they have it they really don't but there's a difference between actually having depression and anxiety than having one bad experience and then being sad about it for a couple days and stuff like that. I, myself, I actually have it. I'm diagnosed with it and it's not a joke. It's not a joke. I've had, I went through the worst of thoughts these past couple weeks and I'm glad that Glad I'm at where I'm at now, and I'm happy, and I'm in a good mood, and I think I'm ready to come back to streaming. And before we move on to the next thing, I want to tell all my subscribers, you guys are more than welcome to DM me. Talk to me in chat. Anything you guys need, you guys can talk to me. I love my fan base, and I wouldn't be where I'm at today. And You guys have to make sure you guys are okay. Make sure you guys are okay before anyone else is okay. Make sure you guys are happy in the right state of mind. If you have a girlfriend and you're not feeling too happy or anything like that and it's not her, 
just explain it to her and tell her you don't you're not happy you don't you don't you don't feel good you just you need time to focus on yourself and get yourself better it i'm telling you it pays off in the end just to focus on yourself when you're not feeling okay when you're not feeling okay find something that helps you the way i found that's been working over the past couple years with dealing with this is playing call of duty and talking to my friends and um, to my friend eli he goes to the same shit and he helps me he knows exactly what i'm talking about and what i'm going through he knows he helps me and i appreciate it so much and eli i love the kid to death and i don't know where i would be without eli today but it's okay it's okay i love the kid and actually i'm going down to see him next month so expect that vlog coming too or meeting we're finally meeting the boys we're meeting graves I mean, Graves, Austin, Harry, Jaden, Eli, meeting all the boys next month. So, guys, make sure you guys are ready for the vlog next month. But, anyways, after I got hyped, I'm so hyped for it. But, anyways, just find something. If you guys are struggling with depression or anxiety or anything like that, or just not feeling good one day, find something that makes you happy. Mine is playing Call of Duty. Everybody has their... Everybody has their what is niche, whatever. I don't know if that's how you say it, but the, wow, that works. But just find something that makes you happy. Mine's playing Call of Duty, and that's the biggest thing that's helped me get through all this shit is playing Call of Duty and talking to Eli and Chris and everybody, and they all they're all helping. And all my the subs that texted me or DM me on Twitter, I love you guys. Like I've I've always felt like I've been that odd kid in the situation and that I didn't always fit in or something like that but I finally finally realized that my subscribers do care and they want to help me so I appreciate all the subs that hit me up and texted me and said something to me it really does mean the world but we'll be back we're coming back next week streams again every day that I have off of the week Stream, stream, stream. Eight hours, six hours, seven hours, twelve hours. Yup, this shit's happening again. You know we consistent. We, we only stream. Man. Hey, Rocky, tell him. Man, you know we only. You Hold on, let it focus. You know, you know, you know we stream for more than six hours. But it's okay. But. <laughs> but, yeah. Other than that. If you guys need help, you guys are more than welcome to DM me. Come in my chat when I'm streaming. Talk to me. Um, my social medias will be in the description. You guys can talk to me, whatever. This has been one of the hardest videos to make for me to talk about this. I never thought I would have to talk to you guys about this or say anything about it. But um, I feel better explaining to you guys my situation instead of just going ghost and coming back randomly. And then people are like, well, what the fuck were you doing? Well, this is what happened. This video right here is exactly what happened. So I want to talk about that I talked about earlier in the video is I'm going down next month, December 13th through the 15th to finally meet Elijah, Austin, Jaden, Harry, and Graves. I'm finally going to meet the boys after four or five years of playing with them. I'm finally going to meet the boys and I'm so excited. I'm so hyped. I will be I'm not good with vlogs. I so don't expect the vlog to be good, but I am making a vlog when I go down there and I can't be more excited for this. I'm so, so hyped. So hyped. This was really last minute that we planned this, but I'm glad we did. And I'm really hyped to go see the boys. And uh, other than that, I really don't got anything else to talk about. Make sure you guys, if you guys don't feel good, you guys can always hit me up just find something that makes you happy and pursue your dreams always follow your dreams you're gonna have bad times you're gonna go through rough shit follow your dreams never give up never give up but other than that it's been your boy rage i'll be back streaming next week hopefully monday if i don't work if not tuesday if i work tuesday wednesday whatever just make sure you guys got notifications on and you guys are here for the streams but i will be back next week and other than that, it's been your boy Rage. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.